In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this made in batch uh, by country wise. As you can see here, I have created this uh, badge for uh, made in Italy. Uh, I have added the flag of the Italy and then I have added some stars here and then some shadow of it and you can add uh, some text of your choice here and the, at the bottom I have added the shadow effect likewise I have created four five to six different countries so let me just show you so the second one I have made it for India you can see here I have added the flag of India with the blue background here then I have added for Saudi Arabia you can see here the flag which is green and then I have made it for Pakistan which is the combination of green and white and then this is for the Spain all right and then i have made it for brazil and one more country which i have made last is a philippines so i've explained how to create this uh, very easily and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to insert shapes and from the block arrows, I'm going to select this arrow pentagon, draw the arrow pentagon, something like this shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. You can give any uh, the blue gray color or any color of your choice and then go to rotate. You can see here I can make it rotate right 90 degrees and then I'm going to expand it a little bit and then you can see here i want to reduce this arrowhead so I'm, you can see the small orange point i'm just going to drag this down okay further down something like this all right then go to align center align middle and then i'm going to give a curve shape at the top for that select this one right mouse click edit points and you can see here the two points there so first select this point and this small square shape drag it somewhat down and here also click here and then drag this somewhat down so you end up getting a shape something like this and then i'm going to draw the country flag so depending on your requirement you can draw the country flag for that let me just go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size i can increase the height all right shape outline make it no outline then align i'm going to make it center and then i'm going to cut this into uh, three pieces uh, the, there are two ways to do that one first way is you can go to insert shapes select one more rectangle draw a rectangle in the center maybe this much size and then i'm going to select this and this merge shape i'm going to make it fragment and then i'm going to delete all the unwanted here and then i can you can see here i've got three different rectangles all right so if you don't have these merge shapes what you can do is simply you can add three rectangles okay again press ctrl d like this you can add one by one all right so i'm just going to remove that one let me just align it properly and then i'm going to make it for the italy so for that i'm going to select this one and here i'm going to give the color of the italian flag and here in the center it comes white and here it comes somewhat a uh, kind of a red flag all right so you can see here it looks something like this and then i'm going to give some kind of a, a ribbon shape here so go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw a rectangle and i'm going to draw till here like this let me just select this one and move it somewhat up all right and then this one should be let me just move it up something like this all right and then shape outline no outline let me just increase a little bit and go to insert shapes select a, a triangle draw a triangle give some different color shape outline no outline 
and I'm going to make it right rotate. Let me just give some different colors so you can understand better. And then I'm going to cut this one. All right, so let it be something like this. So depending on your requirement, you can increase the height or width. So maybe this much. All right, so I'm going to select this shape first and then this one more shape I can subtract it something like this and send this to back okay and here also now I'm going to just drag this one by holding control shift key together till here and rotate it you can see here I'm just rotating flip horizontal and this also sent to back now here I'm going to give this color and here this color but a little bit a darker color so right mouse click go to format shape and I'm going to first of all fill the same color which is this color and then go to more colors you can go to the custom and increase the shade you can see here like this somewhat darker okay and here also I'm going to select the green and then go to more colors increase the shade more darker so you can see here it looks something like this then i'm going to insert one more rectangle for the this one for the shadow effect okay so i'm going to select this much shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to select black increase the transparency level you can see here something like this and then send this to back so you can see here some shadow effect i have added here and the same thing you can add some shadow effect at this also so this one should not be here till here only okay till this one there's a one shadow effect and then i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size and put it here something like this you can see here till here and then send this to back like this press ctrl d or you can hold the ctrl shift key together and till here you can see here and then send this to back so like this we have created the the shadow effect or you can just bring it down also till like this this also something like this i think this will look, give more uh, meaning so let me just put it till here all right and make sure that this is still this part only that we need to here also it should not overlap all right so you can see here we have added the shadow effect also now it's time to add the text so first of all i'm going to add the country name italy italy and i'm going to make it a white font and then i'm going to make it open sans make it bold center align and then you can see here the character spacing i'm going to make it uh, very loose and increase the size till it fits all right so i think this is okay for me all right and then i'm going to add one more text go to insert text box i'm just saying made in italy and this also white center align open sans all right and make sure that this is all center align i can just select this one align center and if you like to add more text at the bottom you can add it and then if you like to add some stars or something like that you can go and select the star here small star and i can give the same red color all right shape outline no outline and then hold the control shift key together sorry select this one again or you can press ctrl d to du duplicate and you can move it aside just a minute yes so you can see here make sure that it is properly aligned so you can see our design is ready and at the bottom if you would like to add some shadow effect go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much shape outline no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency effect go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here 
we have got the shadow effect also so similarly you can make the flags of other countries as well so you have to just change the number of colors if you want only two depending on your requirement you can do it